First of all, the Holland College Hurricanes are coming off a 28-3 loss to the Dalhousie Tigers. The Hurricanes lost to the Bombers in the opening game of the season by a score of 28-7 and are looking to redeem themselves with today's game. The UMB Red Bombers were used a strong running game by Dylan Waugh and taking advantage of a couple of defensive coverage breakdowns by Holland College. But talking to defensive back coach Sean Frazier, he says that the Holland has made some changes and are playing better as a group. The Hurricane. So yes, miscommunication and there, folks. And I will ask you again to please rise the national anthem. We're going to play Old Canada. Let's make some noise. Okay, folks, um, my name is Leslie Fall, and I will be doing the uh, commentary. And to my right is Ryan Cadman, and he will be doing play by play. Um, fortunately, I have some beside news of uh, the Reach Holland College this week. Uh, Former defensive back and special team coach Danny Redmond of Charlottetown passed away last Thursday. Danny was a, was a defensive back coach and special teams coach for the 2016 team. And on behalf of the uh, 2016 football team, the Holland College football family, and myself, we offer our deepest condolences and sympathies to Coach Redmond's wife and two daughters and family and friends. Danny will be missed. He was a great guy. He was very involved in minor football here on Prince Edward Island and was one of the founding members to be responsible to bring tackle football, minor tackle football back to uh, Charlottetown. Thank you very much Leslie. Uh, Danny much condolences out to his family of course. We are getting set for kickoff here. It looks like Holland College will be kicking. UND will be receiving. As Leslie said, I am Ryan Cannon. I will be doing your play-by-play -play tonight. And we are underway. Paterner up to the 30 and brought down by a couple Holland College players. Number that is number 88, Eight Matt LaFleur. This is a very important game today, Ryan. It's, uh, it's pretty well do or die for Holland College today. Now they need this one need a win today to keep in the hunt for home field advantage during the playoffs. Yes, absolutely. That's the home field is crucial, especially in football. You get your fans behind you, uh, and it definitely boosts uh, what you can do out there on the field. Yeah. I imagine that they'll be looking to see the Dylan Hand Waugh. Off. Hand off to Waugh. Gain of about five yards. He gets it through a couple Holland College defensemen. After the run, yeah, this down, UNB team, Ryan, is a pretty well a run heavy first organization. They, uh, like I said, I'd imagine you'll be calling Dylan Wall's name and number a lot today. That's Jonah Rawlines in the backfield for UNB. Hand off to Wall. 
Waugh breaks for a big one to the 55 yard to the 50. Gets brought down at about the 45 yard line. Brought down by number nine, Jack Mallow. That's a big run for UNB. That's nice for them to break open this game early. Try and get on the scoreboard. Going to be crucial for Holland to try and make a stop here. Fresh set of downs. Hand off to Waugh. Chase down. Can't be brought down. Looks like a gain of about two. Brought down by a number of Holland College defensemen. Looks like they're actually marking the ball right back at the original line of scrimmage there, Ryan. So it'll be second and ten to go. Ball is snapped. Kept it. Passes to 88. Matt LaFleur gets brought down of about three, four yards. Three yards, gain of three. Matt LaFleur making the short cast to the right will bring up third down. Again, that's number 88, Matt LaFleur. Looks like UMB is going to leave the uh, QB on the field here and go for it third and five. John Rollins making the completion. Yep, does look, uh, that does look to be the case. Rawlines has come back to the huddle, and he has sent his men to the line of scrimmage. Bombers trying to uh, force the issue early this today. Ball is snapped. Short toss to Waugh. Waugh breaks for a big run. He's going to be close there, Ryan. Definitely close. Goes for it on third down and, and they are going to give it to him. Enough to pick up the first at about 32 yard line. That'd be a gain of about seven or eight yards. Nice run by Waugh. Small toss to him, and he just takes it outside. And uh, that's where he's got his bread and butter out in that open field. Yeah. Ball is snapped. Short toss to Lafleur. Picked up by number 23. The on the first That's Andrew. Daniel Nkunko so Malimba. Maybe a loss. Second down coming. It looks like he lost about two yards on that play, so now that'll set up second and 12 here. Ball is snapped. He's looking. Rawlings is looking. Gets smothered in the backfield. Still rolling outside. And gets brought down. Throws it away. And we have a flag on that play. Penalty on play. Brought down by number 93, A.J. Fields. Now it'll be interesting to see whether it be roughing the passer here or whether it be intentionally grounding. There was no receivers in the area. And I do, know, and I do believe the ball did not make a pass scrimmage. Holding against... Holding and intentional. We have two. Of okay, looks Still like deliberating. Yeah, it looks like we got two actually infractions on that play, Ryan. We have a holding against Holland College, and we have intentionally grounding against the Bombers. Now is a nice time to thank some of our sponsors here tonight. Boston Pizza, Tim Hortons, and Wendy's. Just three of our lovely sponsors always looking to uh, support our Holland College Hurricanes. We thank you very much. And it looks like they have made a decision. Yeah, and that's... So they'll march the ball back about 10 yards there, and that'll set up third. Third and long, third and long looks like about almost, almost third and 20. I would agree with you there, Ryan. The ball will now be at Holland College's 40-yard line. Oh, wait, they're picking it up. Seems like the referees are having a slight discussion here. There they go. Now they're actually moving the ball back to the original line of scrimmage, I do believe, which would be about the Holland College 33-yard line. That looks about right to me, Leslie. And it looks like it's going to be third and about 11. 
looks like they are opting to maybe send in the punt team. Now, there is a there is a good breeze going on today's game coming in out of the uh, Holland College end zone towards the UMB right, Red Bombers zone. Um, that's probably going to affect the kicking game a lot today. They are lining up for punt. Ball is snapped, kicked, and it is out of bounds. And hits the hits the small Holland truck that is also shaped like a football helmet. So Holland College offense will come on here now. Yeah, Ryan, they look like they'll be starting at their own. Uh, I would say about 14 yard line. That's a long drive, Leslie. That is a long, long drive for Holland College to get back down the field. However, they have the win to their advantage. Let's see if they uh, let's see if they use that. Yeah. Interesting to note, uh, Matthew Yurikai Mitchell out on the field today for Holland College. He's had uh, some injury problems over the season, however, he's out here today. Holland College is also starting a new quarterback today, I do believe, Ryan. Yeah, that's number 10, Tayshawn Tran in the backfield, coming from Ontario. Tran is looking, running, rolling outside. Oh, makes the throw just a little bit too high to Kimiani Simpson, intended receiver. Pass is no good. Uh, that's too bad because Simpson was wide open there, didn't have a man around him. He would have picked up lots of yak yards after that play, after that catch. Today's game is brought to you by Holland College Student Union, Sports Center Physiotherapy, feeling your pain to get you active again. And press for time, print, copy, design, and signs. Holland College lining up here for a second and 10 situation. Two back set, Tran in the backfield. Motion ball is snapped. Tran is looking, open to Simpson. Simpson makes the catch. Stiff arms, breaks for a big one, out at the 40, down to the 50 yard line, the 55, the 50, and he is, he is pulled out of bounds. Down, Hurricanes on second down, Tran looks again for Tony Simpson to the right, but this time catches it and breaks away, going far up the right to Simpson the has that breakaway speed, and if he can get by one defender, he does have the skill to make a lot of defenders miss. So. This will relieve some of the pressure off Holland College now that back won't be against the goalpost. And Absolutely. They actually they took a big chunk out of that drive I was mentioning earlier, uh, cutting almost their field in half, able to move themselves up on a nice pass and catch from Simpson. One back set, ball is snapped. Tran, handoff to Oka. That's Rodrigo Montes de Oka with his first carry of the day. Looks like he picked up about four yards there. The wind here is absolutely whipping. We'll go right through your coat. Yeah, it'll, uh, it should affect both not only the kicking game today, but as well as with the passing game. And she is a cool day. She's about eight degrees here at the field. Two backs, ball is snapped. Tran looking, quick pass to Simpson. Who gets brought down? Looks like a gain of about two or three yards. Well, this is going to bring up third down and about two yards to go. Holland will have a decision here down the main. Goes for a handful yards, third and short. Be interesting to see what Holland chooses to do here. As UNB also chose to go for it, and it uh, did work out for them. Holland College. Looks like they will be trying the same tactic as it is, only two yards. Be looking for a handoff here to Rod, I would imagine. Under center goes Tran. Yeah. Looks like with Tran's second effort, he did pick up enough. No, it's going to be close here. There is some confusion on the field. Tran did keep the ball and try to push forward. QB sneak. And they will give them the first down. First down, Hurricanes. Deshaun Tran, the quarterback sneak. 
runs into a wall, but gets through for the first down. It was a totally trans second effort that got him that first down. Absolutely. He had a nice initial push and stoppage from his O line. However, he could not break through, had to get around, and uh, found himself in a good situation where he was able to pick up the first down for his team. Rod fixing up his back plate, as a good teammate would always do. Ball is snapped. Hand off to Oka. Nope. nope. Tran keeps it. Runs outside. Whoa. And Tran is actually ripped back. Calls his own number. Fakes the handoff. That was a... Uh that was a sign run, I do believe, but I do believe that what happened there was Kai Mitchell missed his blocking assignment there and that allowed the uh, UNB Red Bomber player to get into the backfield and, and, and tackle Tran. That's tough for Holland. That was a uh, that was looking to break wide open. It looked like they had fooled everybody on the handoff, including myself. Yeah, so that sets up second and uh, ten as Tran made it back to the line of scrimmage. Ball is snapped. Uh -oh. Looks like UMB will be taking over on their own 25-yard line. Tough break for Holland on that last set where they could not uh, break free for that big run by Tran. Hoping to gain the first down and uh, having to punt the ball away. Rawlings in the backfield handoff to Wall. Wall stopped at the line of scrimmage. First down run by Fredericton goes for a yard or so. Three yeah, it looks like Wall picked up about one yard up there, so she'll be second and nine there, Ryan. And uh, like I said, I can imagine we're going to see a lot, especially with the throwing into the win. I'm going to believe we're going to see a lot of running plays out of the Bombers. Yeah, and that's a very underrated aspect of today's football games, in my opinion, Leslie, is the run game. Oh, knockdown pass. The run game is something that a lot of teams overlook these days. A lot of teams opting to go for the long throw. However, the run game is always something that can be utilized. You need those extra yards. You need to make that big run. You need to get some big momentum. A run is always a great way to do that. Yeah, now, UNB will be bringing out the punt team here, and we will be having Jack Mallow and Max Mallow back to, to receive now. This, we'll probably be looking at a short punt because the UNB is punting into the wind here. Both. Line up here now. Both Mallow brothers are far back. Jack Mallow and Max Mallow back to return for home coach. Both Max and Jack have the ability to break one loose here. Go, go, go. Snap is fumbled a bit. Short kick. Looks like it's going to be scooped up by Max. Max returns it to the right side. Takes it up the middle. 40 yard. Flag is down. Brought down at about the UNB 30 yard line. However, there is a flag on the play. I believe this will be going against Holland College. I do believe we're going to have a hold against Holland College here, but we'll have to wait for the official single here from the head referee, Rod St. Pierre. And that's what it is. It is holding against Holland College.
Hurricanes football today is also sponsored by Holland College Student Union Sports Center Physiotherapy, healing your pain to get you active again, and press for time. Print, copy, design, signs. Thank you very much for supporting Holland College. 435 remaining in the first quarter. Game remains 0-0. So it looks like uh, you, Holland College will be starting at uh, the Bombers' 43rd yard line here with four minutes and 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Small deliberation by the referee while they get time count ready. Time is in. Train in the backfield, one back set. Ball is snapped. Fake handoff, small toss to Kamani Simpson, cannot make the grab, just slips out of his hands. you got to wonder how much of uh, the impact the wind is having on the ball. You know, that small wind blow can just turn the ball. That's not a heavy object. No, Ryan, she, uh, she, the passing game today will definitely have to be short, crisp passes because uh, you don't want to float one up there or else the wind's going to take it and just hold it up. So that sets up for second and ten for Holland College here. We are still scoreless with about four minutes and ten seconds go in the first quarter. Looking, throwing, makes a long bomb to Yurikai Mitchell who just can't make the grab. Yeah, just a little bit overthrown there. I think the wind probably picked that up a little bit and stretched it out a couple steps ahead of Kai Mitchell. There. Absolutely. As well as nice coverage from DB Josh Armstrong for the Red Bombers. It looks like Holland College will be opting to bring in the punt team. They'll be looking to pin the Bombers deep in their own end, deep in their own end here. A two and out is not what Holland College was hoping for. However, sometimes that happens. Oh, this sets up third and ten. I don't imagine we'll see any trickery here by Holland College, but you never know. Ball is snapped to Yurikai Mitchell. Nice kick brought back to Matt Lafleur, who bumbles it. Lafleur just fumbles the ball down at about their own eight-yard line. Yeah, they were very. The Bombers were very lucky to recover that ball. This sets up a really long field for the UNB Red Bombers here. Holland defense will be looking to pressure them and uh, try to get them to uh, pin them in their own zone here. And for you and me, while they are down in their own zone, they'll be looking to burn off as much time on the clock as they can and try and punch one in at the very last second as to not give Holland a chance to counter until the second quarter. Ball is snapped, Rawlings throws. Ball is caught by number 12, Jacob McKay. McKay is brought down at about his 25-yard line. That will set up a first down for the UNB Bombers. He was brought down by number 23, Justice Grant. First down to Jacob McKay. And that will be enough to move the chains for Fredericton. That will be enough for a Red Bombers first down. Let's go, team! Ball is snapped. Ball is handed off to Waugh. Waugh outside. Gets brought down by Jack Mallow. Looks like it might be good enough for a first down again. If not, it looks, no, they aren't moving the sticks yet. Yes, they are. That's a gain of about 10 yards. Another one for first down for Wall. So that gives the UNB a little bit of breathing room now. They're uh, at their own 35 yard line. Ball is snapped. Ball is handed off to Wall. Wall up the middle. Drags about three Hurricanes with him before being brought down. And he's just going to be short of the first down there. It looks like he picked up about nine yards there. So that will be. Is that. So that's going to be sec and one. Sec second and one. Second one and one for UNB. And run up the middle. Second down and short it's been a tough day for that defensive line for Holland College. Just not able to stop Waugh. He is so crafty. Ball is handed off. Waugh straight up the middle. Brought down by two Holland College Hurricanes. Yeah, and he picked up. Not only did he get the one yard they needed for first down, he also got enough for... Uh, 
an extra about seven yards on that carry. Moving the ball up just to Holland College's, uh, oh, actually UNB's 53 yard line. Ball is handed off to Wall. Wall straight up the middle once more. Looks like a gain of almost five yards. And he is brought down once again. You weren't wrong, Leslie. They do rely heavily on the run game of Wall. Yeah, Wall is their workhorse. Half a dozen yards in the, on the run as Fredericton continues to push forward. Like I mentioned earlier really in the drive, the there quarter. is one minute left in the first quarter. UNB will be looking to uh, run out the rest of this time and try and punch a touchdown in before Holland will have a chance to react in this quarter. Ball is handed off. Cut down at the knees. Gain of about three yards. So there'll be decision time here for Coach Sturgeon here now. He's about uh, run falls short of the first down. He's about two yards here, so that's gonna bring up third and two. Third and short, Frankton looks to go for it. Looks like looks like the bombers will be going for it. I imagine you'll probably see looking for the sneak, it does not look like they got it. No. We'll have to see where the officials mark his forward progress. And he did not get enough. So Rawlings is stopped by the big defense of Holland College to ensure that they do not get a touchdown. Uh, Holland College now has 15 seconds uh, with a turnover on downs. Looks like a chance to make maybe one or two plays, depending on uh, where brought down and where they end up, and see if they can't punch one in before the second quarter here and really shock this UNB team. Well. Holland will be trying to gather yards here when they got the wind at the back, Ryan. The offense is getting set for Holland College. Tran is in the backfield. There is a two-back set. Tran moving up. Taking the snap under center, throwing it back to Oka. Oka is met in the backfield by several UMB bombers. Trans toss to Montez to Oka, finds nothing, runs into a wall, and loses a couple of yards. Looks like Tran lost about four to five yards on that play, so that's going to bring up a second and 14 yards here. And once again, Hurricanes men's football would like to thank their sponsors, Holland College, Hurricanes Camp, the Holland Hurricanes Academy, and Hurricanes Physiotherapy, powered by Sports Center Physiotherapy. Thank you very much for supporting Holland College men's football. The teams will be switching ends here, switching end zones. Probably be looking at a passing play here with Holland College needing 14 yards to get a first down. Second and long. Ball is snapped. Low snap. Pass is complete to Yurikai Mitchell. Yurikai Mitchell gets thrown out of bounds after gaining only about one yard. Second down, wide receiver scene. Was brought down by number 85, Josh Armstrong. Yeah, so that's going to set up third and about 12 yards here for Holland College. So they'll be bringing the punt team out here. This will be Holland punting into the uh, wind for the first time. So we'll have to uh, see how the wind affects Kai Mitchell's punting. Time is in. Ball is snapped high over his head. Looks like it's rushing oh, in, and it actually is scooped up by one of the Red Bombers. That is number 56 Adam nice Ramey snap. picking up the fumble the snap was oh, just yeah, too yeah, high yeah, over your yeah, Mitchell's yeah. head and UMB will pick it up and there's a gift for UMB right off the bat here now in the second quarter here picking up excellent field position to start the drive 
That's a tough break for Holland College as they were hoping to uh, pin UNB a little bit farther back. Yeah, it looks like they'll be uh, UNB will be starting off at Holland's 29-yard line here. UNB definitely be looking to take advantage of what happened. Looks like Waugh pushes for a run, gain of about four yards. Yeah, I imagine what you'll start to see now is Holland College bring up their linebackers and start filling in the gaps now that meeting Waugh head on at the line here. Yes, that probably would be beneficial. Waugh has broken out for a couple big ones straight up the middle today. Uh, has had a very impressive day. And uh, we're only in our second quarter. We are still scoreless here at the start of the second quarter. UNB has taken over. Looks like the short screen pass to Waugh. Yeah, and he's going to uh, not pick up enough yards here for first down here. So that's going to set up third and... Looks like third and about two. Yeah, third about two, one and a half here. So I imagine you'll probably see UNB go for these. Now whether they'll go with the quarterback sneak or a hand off the wall here will be the question. It looks like Holland College is bringing down a heavy set, anticipating a run. Waugh breaks it right up the middle. And we'll have to see whether they mark the forward progress here. See whether they picked up enough for first down. And it looks like they're giving him the first down here, Ryan. So Waugh gets enough to break for the first down. It looks like it will move the chains for UNB. The Red Bombers now in deep Holland College territory, ready to take over and punch one into the end zone. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be starting off here at Holland College's 16-yard line here. Hand off to Waugh. Waugh breaks through the middle again. Interesting to note that UNB has actually switched out their quarterback for William Hicks, number six, who is running to the sideline now, assuming to speak with Coach to get himself a play. Now, this has been a trend now for uh, UNB to use the two-quarterback system all season long, Ryan. Definitely an interesting system for them to try, although I can also see the benefits of uh, having a fresh quarterback each quarter. Waiting. Ball is snapped. Hicks hand off to Wall. Wall tries to break outside. Just gets caught. Flag down. Looks like we're going to have holding against UNB here now. It'll be interesting to see whether Holland accepts this or declines it. <laughs> Still deliberating here. The officials have made a decision. And it looks like they will be bringing the ball back about, what does that look like to you, Leslie? But uh, back five yards? Yeah, it looks like it's going to set up second and 15 here. I didn't see what the, the actual infraction was called, but. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see a passing play to Matt LaFleur here now. Ball is snapped. Hicks has it. Looking. Rolling outside to the right. Looking for LaFleur. Throws a long one. Makes a catch. Looks like to number 87, Jackson Green. And that's a touchdown for you. I actually thought Matt, I actually thought the QB there for the Bombers was going to actually run with the ball. Yeah, he, uh, he had a lot of space there, but he actually packed up, picked up LaFleur and in the They are Anza. giving it the touchdown. He gets the two feet down. That is number 87, Jackson Green, celebrating with his teammate, Matt LaFleur. They are lining up now here for the extra point. Hicks able to make that completion in tough coverage. Ball is snapped. Kick is good. So, so that will get the Bombers here now a 7 nothing lead over Holland College with uh, 11.32 left there in the uh, second quarter here. 
So that is the first points of the day for either team. UNB getting on the board first with uh, looked, looked like about a 15-yard pass touchdown there to Jackson Green from William Hicks. Beautiful pass, nice completion. Textbook touchdown. UMB now getting ready to kick. Holland College getting ready to receive. The Mallow brothers in the backfield for Holland College. We would like to thank our sponsors again, PEI Source for Sports and East Coast Cresting Screen Print and Embroidery. Thank you very much for always supporting Holland College Hurricanes men's football. It'll be interesting now to see whether the Bombers actually kick off to the Mallows brothers or whether they'll try to keep the ball away from them. Kick is off. Looks like a short kick over to the side. Uh, kick is caught. That looks like number 36. It is number 36. That's Clevey Wiley Jr., uh, running back for Holland College, who just so happened to find the ball in the secondary for the kickoff return team. Uh, had a gain of about seven yards, and Holland College will be taking over just shy of their 50-yard line. That's a very interesting strategy by UNB. Rather than in risk having Jack or Max Mallow break out a big run back, they're going to actually give up yardage and hope that the defense can hold Holland College here in their end. Ball is snapped. Hand off to Oka. The defense has had a fantastic day. Oka looks for a gain. He, he makes a big truck and gets an extra three yards. However, there is a flag on the play. Flag was thrown before the hit. Yeah, I do believe we're going to have probably going to have a holding against Holland College here. On the end here, I do believe it was number 52, DeAndre. Yep, that is the call. Holding on, Holland College. Ball will be brought back about 10 yards. So this is going to set up a first and 20 here with Holland College going into the wind here. That is a tough break for Holland College. Rod with a nice run and a good hit to gain some extra yardage at the end. However, uh, just some, some poor decision making uh, leads to a play being called back. Lined up here, two back set, Tran in the backfield. Ball is snapped, Tran is looking, throws one right over top to Tyler Majuri. Majuri makes the catch and looks like he has enough for the first down. Tran's pass in traffic to Majuri is caught for him. Mid size game. And they will move the chains. That is a fantastic play for Holland. Uh, breaking one open to Majuri, who gets 15 yards there. Uh, just enough for the first down. That is huge for Holland College. Gets them uh, gets them pushed into that UNB zone a bit. Yeah, Tyler Majuri, Ryan, is one of the most steadier receivers in this league. Running the same set, two backs. Motion now, ball is snapped. Tran looking. Looks for the same thing. Looks like a pass may have been completed to Yurikai Mitchell. Looks like a gain of about seven yards. Okay, Mitchell makes the catch going to his knees on a quick out. Not enough for the first down. Second and short for the hurricane. Looks like we're going to be looking at about second and four here, Ryan. Holland College would love to break open for a first down here. They just had a couple nice plays break open for them. They're starting to build some momentum. Let's see if they can't uh, build off that. Once again, two back set. Ball snapped, looking again. Quick pass over top, Yurikai Mitchell, good enough for the first down and then some. They will move the chains. Looks like he picked up about seven or eight yards on that catch. Yeah. Looks like that short pass is going to be there for Holland College all day long, Ryan. You can see whether UNB adjusts their uh, defense any to uh, see if they can stop Holland with them short passes. And there's nothing wrong with the short pass, taking the short stuff. You know, in uh, 
In this football, you get three downs, you get four yards every down, you get a first down after three. Easy. You take what's there. That's right. You gotta you gotta take what the defense will give to you. Ball snapped, hand off to Oka. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It looked like UNB was ready for that. So that's going to bring up a second and ten here. We'll have to see now whether or not Holland College goes with another short pass to either Majuri or uh, Mitchell here. That short pass has been working for them so far this today. So even though Holland is throwing into the wind here. Getting lined up, two back set. Looks like they're enjoying that two back set. Looks like that's been uh, uh, a staple here for Tran and his offense. Ball is snapped. Gets some time to throw over top to Oka. Oka looks, fumbles a bit, gets a block outside, starts making a run, gets brought down by big number 90. That's Morgan Martin. Tran just gets the ball away to Montez de Oka. Cuts back. So Oka picks up about four or five yards on that. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be probably about third and six here. Looks like Colin is going to go for it. Tran staying in the huddle. You really would want this one to pay off for you if you're hauling college. Your last one didn't work out. You would like to, you only need five yards. You'd like to find your first down. Keep this drive alive. Ball is snapped. Time to look. Ball's thrown over just through the fingertips. Yeah, that ball was thrown a little bit high there. The receiver had to jump up to get it and just went right through his fingertips. for it and uh, it's too bad for them not to have it pay off for them however they do have UMB pinned pretty far back in their own zone it is still quite a bit of a drive it's almost uh, it's about 70 yards to the end zone and Holland College must have a lot of faith in their defense to uh, make some stops here yeah it looks like the Bombers will be starting off at their own 27 yard line ball is thrown B ball is oh I thought the ball was picked off by Justice Grant However, it looks like it hit the ground first, and they are calling it an incomplete pass. Yeah, that was a dangerous throw by UNB there. I would agree with you. It uh, definitely was in picked off territory. Time is in. UNB running up to the line now. Hicks still in the backfield along with Waugh. Ball is snapped, waiting, throwing, long oh, throw, just. just over the head. Intended receiver was number 87, Jackson Green. However, pass was incomplete. Ball just a little bit over the head, probably thanks, or at least help from the wind. Yeah, he had uh, he actually blew by Jack Mallow there on defense there, and just actually had him beaten by a step and a half. If that ball would have been well thrown, he would have been off to the end zone. Now that's a nice break. If you're hauling college, you definitely did not want something like that to break up. And uh, you're now looking at a third. Uh, the stick says third. However, I thought it was second. But no, it looks third. like it is third and third. ten. Third and ten. And now we'll be wondering now whether they'll kick aim this now for, oh, bad snap. Bad snap. Looks like they are kicking it to the outside. Mallow makes the catch. Looks to be running up the sideline. Runs into a teammate. Cuts it back. Makes a spin. And is taken down eventually around the 55-yard line. Yeah, I imagine the plan for the rest of this game will be to try to keep the ball away from the Mallow brothers as much as possible. If you're UNB. Yes. So the defense worked out for Holland College, and uh, they get a turnover on downs here. We've got six minutes and seven seconds left to play in uh, the first half of football action. UNB uh, Fredericton is currently ahead of the Holland College Hurricanes, 7-0. 
It has definitely been a run-oriented game here today for both teams. Ball is snapped. Tran is looking. Long throw. Looking for Simpson, just who just can't make it. You know, that's kind of been the story here today. A couple long balls that look clean, but are just uh, are just a hair short. Yeah, I imagine the wind is having a lot to do with the passing game today, you know. So this is going to set up, set, set up second and ten here for Holland College. We'll have to keep an eye on here now with Kai Mitchell lining up here on the uh, short side of the field here. One back set, waiting. Four receivers strong side. Tran looking, loses some time, oh. fights off a block, however, just can't. Gets brought down, loss of about ten yards. Yeah, and that was by number 90 and 30 there on a combination there. Yep, that? no, it's number 90, Morgan Martin, and number 30, uh, excuse me, Alec Ferris, able to bring down Tran in the backfield. A couple big boys there, that Martin and that Ferris. Yeah. That's a large front for that D-line. That's, uh, that's definitely a big anchor for this UNB team. So Kai, now we'll have to see how the snap goes on this last punt attempt there. Kai Mitchell got a bad snaps, and UMB recovered. Snap is good. Almost, almost blocked. Almost blocked off. However, ball is kicked out of bounds towards the Holland College uh, Hurricanes sideline. It actually looks like that. Uh, looks like it. UNB will be starting off at Holland College's 54-yard line here. So with four minutes and 39 seconds in the win at the back here, UNB will be looking to uh, gain some ground and maybe punch one in here to, to set up a two-scores two game before the half. It's been quite a stalemate here today. A lot of the battle going on between the 50-yard lines here. Ball is handed off to Waugh, who is brought down after a gain of about two yards. UMB staying with their uh, power horse Wah here in the running game. Yeah, and they're going to keep running with Wah until uh, until it's no good for them anymore. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. Lining up here now, Hicks gets the snap, fakes the handoff to Wah, gets pressure. Almost oh, completes oh, oh. a catch, almost a circus catch there by number 12, uh, Jacob McKay. However, just can't complete it. Uh, looks like he may be in some pain. Looks like he got shaken up on that there. He looked like he hit the ground pretty hard there. Trainer coming out to talk to him. So this will make an interesting decision here now for uh, the UMB now. It looks like it's about third and seven here, or, th or third and six. So, the question is now whether or not UMB will go for it or whether they'll punt it away. McKay is walking off under his own power. Looks like he may have fallen, uh, put his arms back, and may have landed on one of his wrists. He seemed to have been high up in the air and landed straight back as opposed to being tackled. He may have uh, braced some of the fall with his wrists and uh, shaken himself up. Yeah, it looks like uh, UNB will be sending out the punt team here and be looking to uh, pin Holland College deep in their own end. We've got three minutes and 50 seconds left to play here in the first half of football here. Yeah, that leaves Holland College plenty of time to get this ball and make a drive down the field. Ball is caught, snap is good, punt is long and straight to Jack Mallow. Mallow attempts to run outside, gets up, gets to about the 20, the 30. Oh, he's the gone. 40, the 50, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and eventually the end zone. Jack Mallow takes it all the way for the Holland Canes and shocks your UNB 
Uh, Red Bombers brings it all the way into the end zone, celebrating with his teammates. Fantastic run by Mallow. And there's no flags down in the field, so this should stand. Jack Mallow with a lovely touchdown for the Holland College Hurricanes. Breaks through here, comes across midfield, and once he hits midfield, he knows he turns on the burners, and he is gone. And at the end, does a little dance for his teammates. And now they are lining up to kick the extra point. Mallow with what seemed to be close to an 80, maybe 70-yard touchdown. Fantastic run. Kick is good. Great break for Holland College. They were definitely hoping for something like that. They uh, had a couple lulls throughout the game here. Uh, a couple punts punted away. They didn't get many chances to break any. And Jack Mallow calls his shot finds his opening and takes one all the way to the end zone. That's got this game knotted up here at seven points apiece with three minutes and 22 seconds left to go here in the first half. So it'll be interesting to see now what kind of uh, kickoff we'll see from you from Holland College here, whether they'll try to keep the ball short or whether they'll kick her down deep into the wind. Looks like there's a little bit of confusion on how many men Holland College should have, or who should be on the field for the kickoff. Figuring themselves out, and they need the kicking tee. That is something vital when it comes to kicking the football. Yeah, looks like looks like uh, equipment manager Jamie Gosby there dropped the ball a little bit. Oh, Sorry. he was just <laughs> excited over the touchdown. That's all it was. Here we go. Ball is kicked. Nice kick to about. Uh, just about oh. the receivers, you must run down. They gotta pick that ball up. Picked up by number five, Thomas Hoyt, and brought down deep in the zone. Looks like UNB is gonna have to take over on about their, f <laughs> looks about like the 15, 20 yard line. Tough break. Holland will definitely be looking to build off the momentum from the Mallow touchdown, hoping the, their defense can make some big stops here, keep them pinned in, perhaps even a turnover on downs, see if they uh, can't notch one more before the halftime. Yeah, right. There's still plenty of time left on the clock if Holland can get the ball back Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Toss to Waugh. Ready for it. Waugh brought down in the backfield. Three-minute warning here for the first half. Second and long here for UNB. Just not able to break a runaway. Looks like they're having long deliberation. Time is in. You always got to wonder what those huddles are talking about. Hicks still in the backfield for UNB. I don't think uh, we'll have any question here now with the pass here. Ball oh. is snapped. He was looking. He was going to call his own number and break through that small gap. However, brought down by number 93 for Holland College. That's A.J. Fields. Brings down Hicks in the backfield. Yeah, so that's going to bring up about third and 14 here. So the question is now... If you're UNB, do you take another chance and punt the ball away, or do you just give up the safety here and give uh, Holland College the lead going into the half here? The win is up is at the uh, UNB Bombers' back, but I think it would be a wiser move to give up the safety here. I think it'll be interesting to see what we see here. And they are opting oh, they to are. kick it, kick it outside and far. 
And it looks like it's a going to uh, be at the Bombers. Looks about the 45 yard line. No, actually, I do believe that'll be about the, uh, they're going to mark it here out of bounds at the uh, Bombers 35 yard line. Okay, okay. This is what I was talking about at the start of the last drive. Holland College was looking for their defense to uh, pick up some great defense for them and perhaps didn't get the turnover on downs. However, got excellent field position from that punt because they punted it away. Two back set. Tran looking. Fires a long one. Was looking for Urukai Mitchell. Just short. Tran takes the high snap. Looks for Jarabek. But good coverage brings up a second down. So it's going to set up for second and ten here now. Still two minutes and 24 seconds left here. That's more than enough time, especially in a football game. All in college getting ready now. Let's see whether Holland College goes with the short pass here. One back, Tran in the backfield, grabs a snap, one hand, looks, fires a pass, looking for Urukai Mitchell, dangerous oh. territory. No, pass is incomplete. So that's going to set up third and ten here, an interesting decision. It looks like Colin College is going to come out with the punt team here. Actually, they're going to send up the field goal team, which is an interesting call because this will be a 40-yard attempt into the wind. Into the wind, yes. I was just going to say that uh, it is a bit of a risky decision. I'm wondering if we might... Well, the Holland College is going to, I think, call a time. Yeah, Holland College calls the timeout here. I think they want to discuss this. Maybe talk about the coverage on the punt, uh, the, on the field goal attempt here to make sure that... There's no big return if the ball does go wide. During this timeout, Holland College men's football would like to thank their sponsors, ADL, Prince Edward Island, Pepsi, the shitty of Charlottetown, and Domino's Pizza. Thank you for always supporting Hurricanes men's football. And Holland College is sending the field goal team back out there. Tyler Majuri to hold the ball for kicker Tristan. Tristan Hollow is going to be the kicker here. Hull kicks. The ball's away, and it is going to the be kick short. Is short. Scooped up uh, a bit strangely there. It looks like one of the Red Bombers actually dove into his own teammate's knee to pick up the ball. There is a flag on the play. Referees deliberating now. The penalty is going to be against Holland College. So this is going to be first down, and uh, Bombers will be taking it from their 20 yard line. So she's first and ten. Ball is snapped, handed off to Wall. Wall straight up the middle. Gets wrapped up by number. Looked like 58. And that'll be enough for a first down, so they'll move the chains here. Two minutes and four seconds left. There's still plenty of time for UMB to march the ball down the field. Ball is snapped. Wah is looking outside. Gets brought down. Looks like again a gain of about. So that's going to. He looks like he picked up about six, six yards. Yeah, six, six to. No, actually they're going to give him. Yeah, about six yards here, Ryan. So that's going to bring up second and four.
UNB lining up. Hand off to Wall. Wall straight up the middle. Brought down. Not going too far. Looks like it just, just shy of that first down. Well, to see whether you mark the ball here now. And they're going to make them hold. It is going to be third and about one yard, maybe even inches. Yeah, I imagine yeah, UMB is going to go for this here now. Looking for that push. Wait for the official single here in the placement of the ball. And they're going to get the first down. Yeah, they're going to move the chains here, Ryan. So with a minute 29 left here on the clock, now the UNB seems to be moving the ball. Ball is snapped, kept, wrapped up by Jerome Chimpangila. However, it looked like uh, they had switched back in to their old quarterback. Uh, raw lines and who was brought down by Chimpangila however threw the ball away before he could be brought all the way down Under pressure, Jeremy Rollins just throws that one away. looked like there'd be a little bit of confusion on the UNB's quarterback there he wasn't sure whether he was going to run or whether he was going to throw Interesting to note, they have switched back to Rollins. It was uh, QB William Hicks in there for most of the second quarter. However, here at crunch time, last minute 30. Oh. <coughs> Looking deep down field, Rollins pass slips out of his hand for one scrimmage. Pass is incomplete. Holland College will take over on downs. It'll be interesting to see now whether or not the... Uh, oh, just third down. Uh, my apologies. Yeah, it is third down, and it'll be interesting to see now how this punt situation will work its way out here now, whether or not they'll uh, just try to kick it out of bounds here so keep the ball away from the Mallow brothers, or whether... Ball is snapped. They are kicking far outside. Jack Mallow tracking. Catches it. He's running straight upfield. Oh, All the way off. again. All the way again. No problem for Mr. Jack Mallow, who easily straight into the end zone through hardly any coverage whatsoever. Jack Mallow catches the ball around the 50-yard line and runs straight ahead into the end zone. Little to no coverage from the UNB and some great blocking and some fantastic speed from Mallow himself. Knew he had a touchdown before he was even there. Yeah, Coach Sturgeon, I imagine, will be having a very stern talk to with his uh, special teams there on halftime here. I can't stress enough that that did happen just right in front of me, and that was a straight line drive. Impressive run by Jack Mallow, his second of the day. Kick is good. So with about 58 seconds left in the game here now, uh, Holland College takes a seven-point lead. The score of 14 for Holland College, seven for UNB. Yes, 58 and a half seconds to go here in the first half of Hurricanes UNB Fredericton Red Bombers football. In case you missed it, Jack Mallow broke large for two huge punt touchdowns, uh, was able to break through the defense, uh, one for about 70 and one for about 50. A uh, very impressive day here for Mallow and his return game. Now, if you're going to be Holland College, you're, you're excited about the uh, two uh, punt returns for touchdowns, but you got to be a little bit worried that all your offense is coming from special teams. Yep, absolutely, Leslie. Uh, that's definitely something they're going to want to address. This offense has been a little bit stagnant. Uh, good job moving. However, and squib kick, interesting choice. Flag on the play. 
Holland College opts to squib that kick. Yeah, the onside kick not working for Holland College there as the ball went out of bounds. The Hurricanes squib kick draws a play. So we've got 48. Oh no, we're still at 58. We're still at 58 seconds here. Time did not move on that kickoff. Looks like UMB has decided to take the ball where it went out of bounds instead of doing the kick over again. Rawlings in the backfield. Going far, looking for that screen pass. Completes the pass to number 12, Jacob McKay. However, is brought down just shy of a first down. Looks like a gain of about eight. Yeah, I would say it's going to set up a second and... Uh, This leaves about second and two. I imagine we'll see a wall carry here. Hand off to Wall. Wall straight up the center. Works out for them. Runs into Mallow. However, stands him right up back and is able to bring him down. Strong running by Wall will move the chains, but the clock continues to move too. Good enough for a first <laughs> down with 36 seconds left to go. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like UNB will be picking up. We'll be starting off here at uh. Oh, we look like we have an injured Holland College player here on the field. Yep, you can hear them calling for the trainer. I can't quite identify who is down. In case you're just joining us, here with 26 seconds left here to go in the first half of Hurricanes, uh, the Red Bombers football action here today. Holland College 14, UNB Fredericton Red Bombers 7. Two fantastic punt return touchdowns for Jack Mallow and one uh, one big uh, catch for a one Jackson Green for UNB uh, is our scorers here today. The wind has been a large factor. Uh, passing game not, not as utilized as what we normally see. Heavy run game from UNB. Uh, and Holland College today opting to go for a new quarterback in Tayshaun Tran, who has played well here today. Coming off the field is number 29, Dennis Brown. Looks like he may have suffered uh, some sort of ankle or calf injury just then. Did walk off the field under his own power, however, is going to be evaluated by the trainer. All right, so it'll be first down and 10 to go here for uh, UNB. Ball is snapped. Rawlings in the backfield looks for the short pass to McKay. Completes it. Almost strips the ball. Does Justice Grant. However, uh, he will be brought down for a gain of about five yards. Actually. Oh, are they moving the sticks? They're moving the sticks. Wow. So 26 seconds left here. UNB is looking at least to get into a field goal range here. Rawlings looking again, makes the long pass. Almost, oh, picked, almost up. picked off by Justice Grant. Pass is incomplete and uh, look at that. Very, very close, still in the air. UMB is breaking now. Yeah, this is setting up second and ten here. <laughs> Ball is snapped. Rawlings looking, looking for the pass. Completes it. That's to number 84. I fumbled it. That's to number 84. Sam Phillips had the completion. Fumbled the football. 
Looks like he scooped it back up. However, was was primed and ready to run that into the end zone. So it's 8.9 seconds here. There'll probably be enough time to get at least two plays off here. UNB still has all their times out. Makes the play fantastic. Has a lot of room. However, just loses the ball when that's Jack Mallow. Gives him a hit and knocks the ball loose. Safe to say that if Mallow doesn't come in then, that might have been a Red Bombers touchdown and we're looking at a different game. The referees are deliberating. There is 8.9 seconds left here in the first half. Uh, Holland College is up 14 to seven against the UNB Fredericton Red Bombers. I do believe Holland College took a time out there, Ryan. So they're going to line up here now. Like I said, they'll probably have time to get two plays off if they're quick. So I imagine what will happen here is well. I imagine we'll see uh, probably a handoff to Dylan Wah here, and if he doesn't make it in, they'll they'll uh, snap. Looking, Rawlings looking, looking for the pass. It is bobbled, it is in the air, and it is down. Yeah, so with four seconds left, I believe that UNB will probably go for the field goal here and take the points. UNB getting ready now. This is probably their last play of the half and their last chance to tie the game up before halftime. <coughs> Taking time here now. Ball is snapped, Rawlings is looking, and oh, he makes a spin, he gets a pass off. Pass oh, is big incomplete, hit. big hit, flag on the play. Late flag by the referee. The ball was in the air. Here it is. We can see it there now. Ball was caught while he was in the air. Uh, he gets sandwiched there. That is number four, uh, Hayden <coughs> Makasinski and Jack Mallow, abling to sandwich uh, that one there and uh, keep the touchdown from happening. However, there was a flag on the play. It looks like there will be deliberations. And it looks like the penalty is going against Holland College here. So this will be interesting now because I do, this will be, bring the ball up to... It looks like, a, like Holland a, College one yard line, yeah, I believe. one or two yard line here. So this will be a big stand with no time left on the clock unless another penalty occurs. This will be the last play of the half. Holland College definitely does not want uh, to lose it here. That would be a terrible mental mistake. Uh, enduring a tough penalty. You know, you had just shut down your opponent. Yeah, she'll be a battle of the big boys here down the trenches right now. Look for Dylan Wall to probably get receive this handoff here. Ball is snapped. Ball is handed off. Wa is. It looks like he got the ball over from my perspective. Yeah. I'm waiting for the official call. It looks like the if one of the referees did have his hands up. Touchdown, Red Bombers. No, actually they're waving actually, it off. Actually, they are waving it off. There is no touchdown on the play. No touchdown. And the UNB is asking. Referees are having a conference here. UNB is asking why. From my screen, uh, the one I'm looking at here, it was a tough call. However, it may have it looked to me personally like Wah may have gotten the ball over the line. I'm not seeing it here again, nor do I want to uh, say anybody's making a wrong call. However, that was just from my point of view, my perspective. Yeah. UNB captains are staying on the field here, waiting to 
for the conference the from the referees. Really the Coach Sturgeon is standing about 10 yards away from the conference here, We're looking to get some explanation here from the referees. And they wave it off. Head, head referee Rod St. Pierre is going over to Coach Sturgeon. Let him know why, what the call is. And with that, both teams are leaving the field. And with that, we thank you for joining us for the first half of Hurricanes men's football. Uh, it is currently halftime, but we will be back in a short 15-minute break. Um, don't go anywhere. Thank you very much. College, while uh, Jackson Green broke out for a big catch for UNB to put uh, put them up seven. So uh, we've got a 14-7 game here getting into the second half. Uh, the referees for this afternoon's game are Rob St. Pierre, Chris Hallowell, Paul Quinlan, Sean McAuliffe, Terry McCormick, Nathan Yeo, and Mark McDougall. So thank you very much for joining us all. My name is Ryan Cabin, and to my left is Leslie Fall. Leslie? Hey, Ryan. It's, uh, like I said, this is going to set up an interesting second half here now. Both teams' offense seem to be struggling and just moving the ball between the 30s and the 50-yard lines and then ending up punting the ball away. Good good fortune for Holland College that they actually, <coughs> excuse me, have actually been able to, to rely on their special teams today and uh, get two great big returns back from Jack Mallow. Uh, UMB will be kicking off the ball here to Holland College. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not they will kick it back towards either Jack or Max Mallow. We wait here for the referee to blow the play in. And away we go. Ball is kicked. Paul is kicked to the far right side. Just a short kick by UNB there. Short kick, definitely dangerous return attempt. As said by the PA announcer, I would agree. Uh, that was a high jump for a risky ball. We are here at uh, the Holland College. Is looking like they're going to be moving up here now, starting up almost at their 50-yard line, looking about their 40, 43-yard line. Holland College will be starting this quarter off with the win at their back. Ball is snapped. Intended receiver was Urikai Mitchell. However, pass is no good. The throw was a little bit low. If you're just joining us here now, Holland College did opt to go with a new starting quarterback today in number 10, Tayshawn Tran, after uh, last week. And uh, Petroski with the Dalhousie um, poor game for the team in general. That 28-3 loss is a tough loss here today to try and turn it around, and they're doing well. 14-7, Tran in the backfield, two back set. Ball snapped. Tran is looking, rolling, outside, gets, oh, gets whacked. So that'll bring up now third and 10 here for Holland College. Into the right, Tran looks for the check down for Montez to open Incomplete. Looks like Holland College is bringing the punt team out here. UMB sending the one player back to return. Holland getting ready now. You're Kai Mitchell in the backfield getting set to kick. Good snap. Kick is off. Nice kick all the way down to about the 10 yard line. Scooped up by 88. Matt LaFleur. Flag is down. Probably going to be an offside or, or no yards. 
sure of midfield, but there is a penalty down. Bit of a late flag by the ref there. Yeah, it is uh, no yards there, no yards against Holland College here. That'll be on number four, Hayden Makasinski. Looks like they will, UMB will be taking over down on about their 35 yard line. It'll be interesting now to see whether the Bombers will stay with their uh, running game here, handing off the walk. Walk gets brought down just around the line of scrimmage. There is a flag down. First down run. Sorry, not first down run. Second down run. Pass the middle. And there is a flag. I imagine this will be holding against UNB. Was brought down by number 31, Griffin Chenye. And once again, Holland College Hurricanes men's football would like to thank their sponsors, keepitsocial.ca, impaired is impaired, and cannabis PEI. Be smart, be responsible, don't drive impaired. So this is going to bring up first and 20 here for UNB. Rawlings in the backfield looking, sneaks through, brought down by a couple Holland College linemen. Namely, number 53, Owen Kramer, in on that <coughs> tackle. This is second and long for UNB. They've got about 15 yards to go to a first down. Probably anticipate a long ball here. Rawlings is looking. Oh, oh gets whacked. Yeah, his arm got hit just as he was re releasing the ball there. So that'll bring out the punt team for UNB. Yep, this has been a battle of the special teams here today. Lots of two and outs, uh, three and outs. Um, no big plays breaking, really. Uh, this has definitely been a battle of will. All... The offense has been a little stagnant for both teams as opposed to uh, the big play that UNB had early on in the game. Other than that, the run game for UNB has been their bread and butter here today. Yeah, Holland has adapted well to keep it shut down. Oh, squid kick here by the, pick, by the kicker there for UNB. Kick was very shallow. Looks like it's just out at about UNB's 35. All right, bringing out the offense here now for Holland College, hoping to make something moving. It'll be interesting to see now with the wind at Holland College is back, whether we go with the running or the passing game here. Quick Tran's coming up under center. Tran under center. Ball is snapped, brought back, handoff to Oka. Oka finds a hole, gains about three yards. So that's going to bring up about second and five here for Holland College. Well, things are warm up in the booth, folks. I understand that you fans could be getting cold out there. The season is only getting colder. Don't forget to stop by Samuel's Bookstore on the Holland College campus to pick up hurricane blankets, scarves, and jerseys. Getting ready here now. Two back set. Tran in the backfield. I'm not sure about the jerseys. Waiting. Motion ball is snapped. Lots of time looking. Long ball looking for Simpson. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Number 80, Gareth McLean makes the catch, runs it straight up the center. Here it is, trans pass, about a 20-yard pass, makes the catch, turns around, and kneels down in the end zone. Yeah, Simpson just split the, the safeties there and just actually just ran right through them there, and uh, Tran was able to hit him with the ball. 
It is now 20 to 7 for Holland College. Uh, just a reminder that UNB is the team to beat as the current first place team in the league. Um, Holland College must win today if there are any hopes of them hosting a playoff game. And the kick is good, making the score They are currently up 14, 21 to 7 for Holland College against the UNB Red Bombers. Holland College now getting ready to kick. UNB to receive. This is what will be a, an interesting quarter here now with UNB trying to play catch up with the wind in their face here. No, definitely will be a difficult challenge for them. Holland College, I'm assuming, getting ready to launch themselves a nice long ball, trying to pin UNB back far. That's Matt LaFleur and Thomas Hoyt back to, uh, back to return. Hoyt with the ball. Gets wrapped up by a couple Holland College players. Namely, Justice Grant and Owen Kramer in on that tackle. <laughs> Ball is brought out to about the 35 yard line. I would think now that UNB facing with the, with the wind in their face here will be uh, looking to probably try to reestablish the run game with Dylan Wall here. Ball is snapped. Rawlings in the backfield makes the short throw. No good. Intended receiver was Lafleur after he faked the handoff to Wall. Pass is incomplete. UNB taking their time here now. Setting up their offense. Rawlings in the backfield. Ball is snapped. No handoff. Ball is tipped. Almost picked off. Nearly intercepted by number 26, Max Mallow. That looks like it will bring out the punt team for UNB. That way the Hurricanes defense has done its job. Yeah, it looks like uh, it'll be interesting to see now. Now, not only will they be kicking into the wind, but they'll be kicking both, kicking towards both Mallow brothers in the, in the uh, return position here. Ball is snapped. Kick is off. The kick is far to the side. Shifting out here now for the offense for Holland College. Now Tran will be coming out here now to try to make sure that he uh, keeps the, the flow going here after that successful drive here and that he just finished with Holland, Co Holland College ending up scoring. Two back set, Tran in the backfield. Ball is snapped. Tran is looking, gets chased down, tries to run. Does a couple dodges, gaps a few more yards, takes it outside. Gain of about five yards on that. Tran drops back to pass. Scrambles, picks up a few blocks, and runs first down. Well, actually, he got, he got 10 yards on that play. Oh, wow. Did he scoop up the first down? It's he scooped up the first down. Tough know. angle up here. It is. You got 40 football players standing between you and the sidelines <laughs> there. It's kind of hard to see where he steps out of bounds there, eh, Ryan? <laughs> no, actually, they're not. he's going to leave him about a foot and a half short, I guess, with the final marking. So 
So it's going to be second and less than a yard to go here. Train under the center here. Referees are coming in. I think Collin College has asked for a measurement here. And they're bringing the sticks in. While we get the measurement, Holland College men's football would like to thank the following of their sponsors, Mind Matters Mental Performance Training, Hunter's Ale House, Factory Downtown, The Beer Gardens in Charlottetown, and John Brown Richmond Street Grill. Thank you very much for always supporting Holland College men's football. After official measurement, it looks like they will be one yard short. Or are they moving it? It looks like they are going to be about a yard short of the first down. Taking some time here, referees are with the sticks. Or have they moved it? They have, they they have, have moved it. So it is actually going to be first and ten for Holland College. First down here on UNB's 45-yard line. Hand off to Oka. Gets brought down. Gain of about four, almost five yards. So not only is it important for Holland College offense to get into a, a, a pattern here, Ryan, but Holland College lost the first game against UNB, 28 to uh, 17. So to uh, in this league, the uh, if the both teams end up with the same. Uh, same win and, win and loss records. It's uh, points against that uh, actually uh, determines the place. So Holland College will be looking to try to score more than 11 points here to move themselves into a tiebreaker here. Flag on the play there. Looks like it might be offside against number 30, Alec Ferris on UNB. Yeah, I do believe he did jump. So with the penalty, that's going to bring her up to about second and about four yards, three yards here, Ryan. Tran able to find uh, a bit of yardage after that scramble along with the penalty to help them out. It's going to be second and looks like two or three yards for Holland College. About the 24-yard line now. Ball is snapped. Tran is looking. Makes the pass over top. Made the pass over, over top to McLean. However, McLean got dragged back. We'll have to see where the, the official placed the ball here. Forward progress. Looks like he's still going to be about a yard and a half short here. So that will bring up third and a yard and a half. Looks like Holland will be going for it. As Tran comes back to the huddle. Holland College now getting ready to go for it on third and short. Time is in. Looks like Tran's going under the center. Tran under center. Looking for that push. Doesn't quite look like enough. However, we will wait for the official ruling. It looks like UNB did hold them, and it will be a turnover on downs. Yep, they will take over. UNB will take over on downs. It was not enough for Tran and his push.
AJ Fields getting a small dance on out there on the field to the songs. Play while waiting. That's Rawlings in the backfield. Ball is snapped. Hand off to Waugh. Waugh looks to break it outside. Flag is thrown. Waugh stopped around the yard of the line of scrimmage. Looks like he may have picked up two or three yards. We'll have to see what the flag is saying here. Looks like a block in the back against Holland College. And they will be moving the ball back. So that's going to set up a new, they're going to move the chains here, and that's going to set up a new set of first downs here for uh, UNB. Ball is snapped, hand off to Waugh. Wall try and breaks it up the middle. He's being dragged. However, it looks like he stopped around a gain of about two more. Looks like he's going to be right on the Bombers' 40-yard line here, Ryan. Right? So that's going to set up second and five here. Looks like the wind is really picking up here now, and it's going to be affecting UNB's. UNB has got their... Uh, going against the wind here, so. Ball is snapped, hand off to Waugh, and Waugh is brought down just, just near the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Tripped up the line by Javier Fernandez, Fredericton's run goes. Brought down there by number Javier. six, Javier Fernandez. And we have an injured UNB player down on the field. Looks to be like number 88. Matt LaFleur. That'll be a big blow to UND if he can't come back into the game. Absolutely, LaFleur has definitely been their targeted receiver today. Looks like UNB is going to go for it here, third and five. Ball is snapped. Rawlings is looking, looks for the short pass. It is complete. And that will be good enough for the first down for the Red Bombers. With six minutes and 16 seconds left here in the third quarter. I'm wondering how much the return of the Mallow brothers had to do with that decision. the ball carrier just got back to the line of scrimmage there, Ryan. Yep, it's been pretty stagnant here for uh, Allen College. Been pretty stagnant here for UNB. Well, they're actually going to give him a two yards there, so it's going to set up a second and about eight here. Ball is snapped. Looking. Thrown. Oh. And just bumbled, just bumbled. Intended receiver number 87, Jackson Green, had it in his hands and it just slipped through the fingertips near the bottom. You'll be thinking about that all night tonight now. He yep, was absolutely. If, uh, if he would have had his hands on that one, that would have broke loose. We're looking at a different ball game. Once again, it'll be a tough decision for UNB here. It's about third and seven. Looks like they're going to go for it again. Once again, you got to wonder whether the excellent punt returning of the Mallow brothers has a lot to do with this. Looking, Rawlings is looking. Pass is thrown. Pass oh. is broken up. Green did have it in his hands. That's two in a row for Green there. I imagine Coach Sturgeon is just going to be pulling his hair out on the sidelines here. 
Green had the ball in his hands. However, Jack Mallow just happened to uh, punch it out at the very last second. So that's going to set up uh, Holland College first down at the UNB's 52-yard uh, line here. Well, Holland College will be looking to take advantage of the win here at the back with about 4 minutes and 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Getting set here now. Whistle was blown. It looked like a timeout by UNB. They couldn't have had the right players on the field for Coach Sturgeon's liking, and then he called a timeout. Looks like they were about a man short. Number 12 coming onto the field there. Number 12, that's Jacob McKay. UNB now taking time to make sure they've got their play calling right. Make sure Coach is happy with what is going down. Not just drive coaches wild, Ryan, when they got to burn a timeout in the third quarter over personnel not being on, of, you know, not paying attention and knowing when they're supposed to be on the field and not and uh, what play is going on. Absolutely, I would agree with you for sure. No coach likes to be backed into a situation like that. All right, it looks like time will be put in here now. So once again, it's going to be about first, it's going to be first and 10 here from UNB's 52 yard line here. Two back set, Trey getting ready now in the backfield. Ball is snapped, he is looking, gets swarmed, has time, throws a deep one. No good. You got to wonder how much the wind is playing a factor with these balls today. We've seen a lot of them go over the heads, especially in that far left side. It looks like they, uh, so that's going to set up second and ten here, Ryan. Getting ready here now is Trey. Ball is snapped. Look, runs, calls his own oh, number, gets just. tripped up. Gets tripped up by number 99, Gabriel St. Germain. He just caught him by the shoelaces there. So it looks like Holland College will be punting here now with third and, third and about, uh, I would say, close to 17 yards. Once again, UMB is only sending the one returner back to, to return this punt. Interesting note here that uh, Holland College is putting on an onside man, Justice Grant. He will be running down for this kick from Mitchell. Right over the head of LaFleur. LaFleur must chase this one into the end zone. And he'll be having to give up the single point here. Brought down by Grant. So that will increase the, the score now for Holland College. They we'll actually get a safety there. So that will bring it to score to 23 to 7 for Holland College. UNB getting ready now to take over in their own about 25 yard line. Wah trying to break one outside. Gets stuffed. 
he'll be lucky if he made it back to the line of scrimmage there. Some miscommunication with the timekeeper folks. The score is actually 22-17 for seven. And it actually did actually they have changed the score here now, Ryan. Actually they did give him a rouge instead of the safety there and makes the score twenty two to seven. Getting ready here now is Rawlings. Hand off to Wall. Wall tries to break one up the middle, however, gets pulled down by Javier. Fernandez having a fantastic game here today, a couple big hits. It looks like Holland College defense coordinator there, Steve Lettner there, also head coach, has made some changes at halftime there now to shut down the running of Wah. And I don't know about you, but I would only have to assume that defensive coordinator, Coach Lettner, must be some happy with his defense out there today. They have been playing well, shutting down the run game of Wah, not allowing for anything too large and not letting the momentum swing. UMB going forward here at third and 10. Ball is caught. Pass is caught, and it looks like it just might be enough for that first down. My, my mistake there was actually third and five. That was Jackson Green, the receiver. UNB getting set here now. Rawlings in the backfield, hand off to Wall. Wall straight up the center, has all the room he needs. Looks like he gained about 10 yards on that. <coughs> Excuse me. So they're gonna move the, move the chains here, I think. And give UNB the first down here. So it'll be, taking, it'll be uh, first down for UNB from uh, Holland College's 49-yard line. UNB getting ready here. Heavy line, hand off to Waugh. Waugh gets the opening he's looking for, gain of about four yards. Dylan Waugh, such a crafty runner, however, also not afraid to just put his head down and run right through you. We've got about just about 12 seconds to go here in the third quarter. We have got Holland College Hurricanes on top, 22 to UNB. Fredericton Red Bombers down seven. Dylan Waugh looking right up the middle again. Gets some lead blockers, pulls a couple guys with him. Gain of about 10 yards, good enough for the first down. Good enough for the first down, and that should be the last play of the third quarter here. The teams will switch ends. Oh. Switching sides here now are the Red Bombers and the Hurricanes getting ready here now. So UNB will now have the win at their back, so we'll have to see whether that'll change their strategy here from going from the run to maybe do a few passes. Interesting to see with UMB, many down linemen pass to Waugh. Waugh wrapped up. Wrapped up at the ankles by number, looks like 58, Ian McClellan. We've got second and about seven here. You can only imagine that UMB can only go to the well so many times with the run here. And there's the deep Ball pass. Is thrown, looking for Green. Green makes the catch. Actually, does not get inside the end zone. Makes the catch. 
That should bring the ball down to, I think, about Holland College's second yard, two yard line here. So this will be a big play for UNB. They'd like to punch this ball in and try to keep as much time on the clock UNB as they can. UNB getting very lucky, making that grab. Does Green, he does get both feet in, is pushed out of bounds. We have a injured UNB player down on the field. It looks like number 87, Ryan. 87, Jackson Green, the one who just made the catch. Looks like he's grabbing yep. the back hamstring there. Yep, looks like he is opting to take a knee and step out. And once again, now this is going to become a game of, uh, of the big boys in the trenches here, I would imagine. At this point here now in the fourth quarter, this is uh, really a game of attrition. UNB sending a couple of receivers out wide. Wa gets the oh Wa gets the ball. Looks like he's making a push. Does not quite get in. The fantastic work of that defensive line for Holland College, keeping out Wa. We hit a flag down on the play there. Offside Holland College, so that'll move the ball right up. One yard. Yeah. So it is quite literally first and goal for UNB. They are at the one yard line. Can they punch it in? It's interesting to see UNB, well, here comes UNB. Interesting to see UNB's quarterback in the backfield here. And off to Waugh. Waugh gets stopped in the backfield. Yeah. Looks like a loss of a couple yards even, maybe. Yeah, I would say so, Brian. That's an interesting call by head coach Sturgeon there. Usually you would have your QB under the center and try to get it into the sneak when you're that close to the one-yard line instead of gambling and losing three. Looks like we have an injured Holland College player down in the field. Looks like number 93, A.J. Fields, taking a knee. Deed lineman. You know, he's getting down in there. He's working hard for his team. Yeah, AJ's a third year player here at Holland College. Taking time here now, being tended to by multiple members of his team. Fields is walking off the field. And it looks like we will get ready for another play from the Bombers. And once again, the quarterback is lined up five yards back of his center. Looking for a pass, tip down, no good. This Holland College defense is really making a stand. I don't know whether we can give so much credit to Holland College's uh, defense or UNB's bad, co bad coaching style here. UNB taking the time now. Rawlings over speaking with his coach. Time is in. Uh, we're looking at about third and fourth to goal. Now this is where Holland College really needs to make their stop. They don't want to string together a couple nice plays just to uh, just to lose it here. Yeah, looks like looks like UMB is going to get a free. The ball is picked off, but there is flags down on the play. I think it's going to be offside. To recap what went on there, I do believe Holland College jumped offside. The ball was snapped. The play then did on continue. Uh, Rawlings did throw the ball. Intended receiver was number 12, uh, Jacob McKay. Whoever number four, Hayden Makasinski, had picked the ball off. The referees are now speaking to decide what is going to happen. Third down play is going to replay up there. 
So UNB will get a re will move the ball up a couple of yards here, and it looks like it's about two two and goal, and uh, repeat a third down. So you got to wonder now why the UNB hasn't moved their QB right up under center here and try to use the big boys to push it right through. Rawling still back, shotgun, hand to Wall. Wall's trying to get in, and Wall walks up. in, no problem. Number 21, Dylan Wall has no problem walking into the end zone for that one. So that's going to bring the score to 22 to 13 at the moment here. That's a tough break for Holland College. They make some big stops, four really nice stops, just to have a couple penalties, a couple mental lapses, uh, some undisciplined plays lead to uh, lead to a touchdown. Yeah, and once again, like I said, we uh, Holland College has also got to be, like I said, aware of uh, the spread here because, like I said, they have to win by more than 11 to hold the advantage in the uh, tiebreaker here. High snap. The kick is good, so that is going to bring the score 22 to 14. And Holland College men's football would once again like to thank their sponsors, Coach Atlantic, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and Newfoundland, bussing across the Maritimes, and DP Murphy Incorporated. Thank you very much for always supporting men's Holland College football. Now this brings up an interesting question here now in this UNB kickoff here. Now, do they go with the short kick again or give up field position, or do they try to pin, in, pin the deep and uh, maybe give up a great, another great return by Jack or Max Mallow? I wouldn't be a bit surprised maybe to see even UNB try an onside kick here, Ryan. No, now that you say that, Leslie, that uh, that makes a lot of sense. They're trying to put some points on the board quickly. They are running out of time. They get 12 minutes and 43 seconds here to mount themselves a comeback. Small squib kick, picked up. Looks like picked up at the 50-yard line. Looks like yeah, it's Holland College ball here. Looks like number 38 there recovered the ball for Holland College. That's number 38, Mitchell Peach. Mitchell is a, is a young fellow from Newfoundland, came all the way from Newfoundland and on the rock there to play football for Holland College this year. So the win will be in Holland College's face here now, and the Holland College will be looking to run off a lot of time on the clock here with these possessions. Hand off to Rod Oka. And he's met in the backfield. Looks like he made it back to the line of scrimmage. Yep, definitely. Well, actually, actually, they're going to give him two yards on that. So that's going to set up second and eight here for Holland College. Time is in. Tran in the backfield, one back set. Ball is snapped, fake handoff to Oka. Tran will run it himself. Oh, there's a flag. You got a potential horse collar there, I do believe. It was like number 99 made the tackle there. Yes, that's number 99, Gabriel St. Germain, chasing down Tayshawn Tran. And it looks like the penalty is actually going to go against Holland College, holding against Holland College. Tran will scramble and penalty on the play, playing the first color grabs. It looks like Kai Mitchell was the little fellow that was called for the hold. He's pleading his case there, the head referee. Looks like it's going to be about, 
All right, it looks like final ruling on the play. It's going to be third and about seven or eight yards. Maybe six yards, six yards. Coach Lettner's complaining about the horse collar tackle. Looks like we're having another timeout. The referees are speaking with both Holland and UNB players. Like Coach Lettner's still looking for an explanation there. <laughs> Coach Lettner is still looking for an explanation. Definitely does not seem happy with anyone he was given. Head referee Rob St. Pierre is coming over to explain it to Coach Lettner. Coach Lettner being uh, here for six years in different coaching positions and Rob St. Pierre being several years of a head referee here on, on PEI. I'm sure the two are well associated with each other, Ryan. Absolutely. Would like to thank our <laughs> referees once again today. Rob St. Pierre, Chris Hallowell, Paul Quinlan, Sean McAuliffe, Terry McCormick, Nathan Yu, and Mark McDougall done a fantastic job here today. You know, they are always looking uh, to make our coaches and players understand the game as best as they can and why they make the decisions they do. So Holland will be punting here. Punt is off. We have flags down in the play here, but I do believe that the player that they flagged for being too for infringing it was actually the onside player. <coughs> it's uh, it's around crunch time like this when uh, referees definitely don't want to get any calls wrong, and they definitely don't want to. Uh, yeah, that player was the onside player, so yep. they'll pick the flags up there, yep. right? I was just going to say, they want to make sure they get everything right. They're not going to... Uh, that's why you have multiple officials. Deliberation, come to a common decision. The officials have done an excellent job here today. Yeah. So, UNB will be starting off on their own 35-yard line here. Ball is snapped. Handed off to Wall. Wall gains about three yards. With about 11 minutes left in this in this fourth quarter, UNB has lots of time here to uh, to try to score the, the tying uh, the uh, some more points on the board here. Absolutely, uh, 11 minutes is more than enough time to see some trickery go down here, and we can definitely see Holland come back if uh, they happen to get put down. There's still plenty of time for either team. Another handoff to Wah. Wah just trucking through, comes through to get the first down. Impressive run. Getting ready here now. Rawlings in the background, in the backfield. Ball is snapped. Handed off to Wall. Wall sneaks one outside. Gets wrapped up by Mallow. Oh, he's almost broke loose there. Was wrapped up by Ninkun Kombalimba and Jack Mallow. However, uh, did not able to bring him down before picking up that first down. This is what UNB wants to do. They want to pick up yards and pick up first downs in quick succession here. Ball is snapped, being ripped down his wall. Looks like he might have lost a couple of yards on that actual run. 
Brought down by number 93, A.J. Fields is having a fantastic day for this defense. Brings down Waugh in the backfield. So this is going to actually bring up second and 11 here. Rawlings in the backfield. Hurricanes defense setting up. They've got a heavy set up front. Knowing the run is probably on its way. Actually, going, UMB's going to the pass here. Oh, pass go. is caught. Pass was tipped up in the air and picked off out of the air by number 84, Sam Phillips. Good enough for a UNB touchdown. There is a flag on the play. Actually, there's several pla flags on the play there. We'll have to see what the referees decide on this. As you can see here, Rawlings looking, makes the pass. The pass is bobbled up, picked up by Phillips. Phillips makes the run. As Phillips makes the catch, there is a flag thrown. We have to wonder what that might be. I think we're going to the original call was a pass interference against Holland College, so. Yeah, that's what it was, and that penalty will be declined. So a tough call here now for Coach Sturgeon. Now, does he take this? Take the go for the extra one, or does he play for the two and the tie? Yep, absolutely. As the score now is with that touchdown is 22 for Holland College and 20 for UMB. Plenty of time left. Plenty of time left for either side to break away. It Eight looks like you 53 seconds. Sorry about looks that, like Ryan. Looks like going for two. And it is no good. Ninkunko Malimba able to knock down that pass and keep it uh, 22 to 20. That was an interesting choice by Coach Sturgeon there. I would agree. I would agree with you completely. Holland College getting set here now to receive kickoff, putting the Mallow brothers in the backfield. Actually, it looks like uh, it looks like Jack Mallow will be accompanied by Gareth McLean. <coughs> and once again, you got to think of, of UNB will probably be thinking about maybe a short kick here. Because the last thing they want to do is give the ball right back to Jack Mallow and have him return it to, for a quick touchdown. And the ball is kicked. It is a short kick going out of bounds, straight out of bounds. Let's go low. So it looks like uh, Holland College will get excellent field position here. With The offense taking some time here to come up with a play, trying to cook up a little magic of their own, trying to punch one back into the end zone. The Hurricanes know how vital this drive is for them. Knowing this is still one of the earlier ones in the quarter, would like to build some momentum. Hand off to Oka. Oka gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Hong College will be looking to run off a lot of time off the clock here and not give UNB too many chances to march the ball back down the field. It looked like Rod was complaining about uh, the lack of a horse collar call. However, he will not get it. So he picked up about three yards there, so it's going to be second and seven here. Big, big play for Holland College here. Holland College going with Kai Mitchell and Majuri on the short side of the field here. One back set. Ball is snapped. Looking for the short pass to Mitchell. It is made. Mitchell looks like he gets tripped up. So it looked like he picked up about three yards there, so it looks like it's going to be third and five. It looks like Holland College is going to send the punt team out here. 
That's too bad for Urukai Mitchell. He was definitely looking to break that one open. However, it looked like he slipped or uh, maybe stepped on his foot. Someone else stepped on his foot. Whatever it was that brought him down, it definitely wasn't because he was tackled. Now, it'll be interesting to see here now. Once again, UNB sending the one returner back, and they've had problems picking the ball up here. Holland College will be looking to have the pressure on. They do have the one man on side here. Looks like Whistle is blown. They are blowing the play dead. Yeah, whenever the ball is kicked up high in the air and, and coming down amongst a bunch of players, the referees blow the ball dead for player safety there, Ryan. <laughs> Took him a little long to blow the whistle there that time. Then it looked like the ball was well about halfway down before he blew the whistle. So UNB now will be taking the ball at their own 30-yard line here and uh, looking to march the ball down the field. I imagine we'll see a lot of Wall in these, these series of plays. Hand off to Wall right off the back. Wall breaks through for about eight yards, seven yards. So that's going to set up about second and two here. I think we can all guess what probably the play is going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Waiting. Ball is snapped. Hand off to Waugh. Waugh puts his head down, trucks through, and gets the first down. Waugh is happy with that small stuff all day long. Yeah, his offensive linemen are really clearing a path for him here. He's going to owe them boys a supper on the way home. They're back to UNB Fredericton tonight, I think. I would agree. I would definitely agree. Big boys up front have been doing a great job for him today, opening up a lot of pockets, giving him a lot of space. Ball is snapped. Hand off to Waugh. Waugh straight up the middle. Not brought down, but is stopped. Looks like he probably picked up about three, three yards. yards on that. So that's going to bring up second and seven here. UNB taking the time now. There's five minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Holland College currently leads UNB Fredericton 22 to 20. Ball is snapped and handed off to number 21, Dylan Wall. Wall breaks through for the first down and then some more. Eventually brought down by Max and Jack. Yeah, he will be carried the ball right into Holland College territory there now and they'll be taking up a first down here at Holland College's 50 yard line. First down at the UNB setting up. One back set, three receivers. Ball is snapped, hand off to Wall. Crunch inside. Gain of about five yards. You believe now Holland College will be trying to bring up their uh, middle linebacker and they're who tries to plug, plug some holes here. We're looking probably here at second and six here for UNB. Interesting here now with uh, not a lot of time left and UNB kind of needing a score. They would even be comfortable within field goal range. And there goes Dylan. Big, oh, big, big run right, by Wa. Fumbles, fumbles the ball. ball. Wa fumbles the ball, scooped up by Hall in college. Dylan Waugh breaks through for a big run. 
but loses the ball at the very end as you see breaks through lots of space lots of time right there is where he loses it scooped up by number six Javier Fernandez absolutely fantastic luck and play for Holland College and what great speed and awareness by Javier able to scoop up the fumble yeah you uh Ball security in this time of the game is just so crucial here, and that's something you won't often see from Dylan Wallace is a fumble like that. We're looking at four minutes left here on the clock. Holland College just took over off a fumble. Hand off to Rod. Rod makes the run, gets dragged down by number 90, Morgan Martin. Now, Holland College really wants to put a couple of first downs together here, not only to run some time off the clock, but to get in the good field position in case they do have to punt. And it looks like Rod lost about six yards there, so that's going to set up second and 16 here. Holland College looking to make a big play here, hoping to scoop up a first down, thinking back to their last time they were in a position like this, calling the number of Tyler Majuri. Let's see if they do it again here now. I imagine UMB will be bringing the house in to get pressure on Tran. Tran in the backfield. Ball is snapped. Oh! Gets oh, it is fumbled! Up and is scored. Number 58, Justin Ellingwood absolutely smokes. Tayshawn Tran scoops up the ball and scores it for a UNB Bombers touchdown. We are looking at 26-22, UNB Fredericton. Tough break for Holland College. And can the football gods be any more crueler to you than that, Ryan? No, I they don't think they can. They give it and they take it away. And we'll watch the replay here. You can see ball is snapped. Tesh is looking, has time, gets absolutely smoked by Gabriel St. Germain, loses the ball, is scooped up by number 58, Justin Ellingwood, and brought in for a Red Bombers touchdown. That has got to sting. UNB lining up for the extra point here. Kick is good. And that makes it 27-22, UNB Fredericton. That's a tough break for Holland College after leading 22-7 going into halftime. Yeah. Now the uh, three minutes left is a lot of time for Holland College. They, they got plenty of time here now to march down the field and put a score on the board. I imagine Coach Sturgeon now is going to make the decision on whether he does a squig kit here or try to, to kick the ball away from the Mallow brothers. It's important now for uh, Holland players not to get down on themselves, but to keep their heads high, know they've got time left. They're not out of the game just yet. It's important to stay confident. Times like this, lean on your teammates. Oh yeah, Holland College definitely has the offensive weapons to come down here and score, no problem Absolutely. at all. Absolutely, it's the matter of getting it done. And like I said, they should end up getting the ball here in reasonable field position based on the last couple of kicks by UNB here. Kicking for UNB is number 77, Matthew Mills. Mills does a small squib kick. There is a flag down. And that looks like... Max Mallow, ball is scooped up by Max Mallow. He is being chased down by Alec Ferris. And we do have a flag down on play. I do believe UNB was offside. Just at the kick, yes, yes, uh, Leslie, I, I do agree. I do think that is also the ruling. I think uh, Fredericton stepped offside just as the kick was made. Yeah. So it'll be interesting now to see whether Holland College will make them kick the ball over again or not. The wind is blowing here strong now for the last three minutes. So 
So Holland College is going to uh, make UNB re-kick this ball. Setting up for the kickoff again is UNB. Setting up to receive is Holland College. We're looking at two minutes and 54 seconds here on the clock. Holland College should be aware they're probably going to get the same kind of kick here. Kicker is number 77, Matthew Mills. And there You're it is right. again. There is a squib kick. There is a flag down again. Kick reattempt draws another flag. Ball was scooped up by number 36, Cleavy Wiley Jr. And they are calling UNB for offside again. This is, must just be driving Coach Sturgeon absolutely crazy. You've given up here now 20 yards of uh, field position here on two penalties. If you're Hall in college, you really want to take advantage of this field position, hoping to uh, get down there and make a score, knowing that uh, home field advantage could be on the line. I think UNB's really got to actually put the ball in the air here, but no, it looks like they're doing another squid kick. Picked up, that's number 80. And he's gone. Gareth McLean. Oh. That's number 80, Gareth McLean with a nice gain. Giving Hall an excellent field position here. So with Holland College getting excellent field position here, there looks like they're going to start off. Here's the replay. As you can see, he has some lead blockers. He has the room, but he is eventually brought down by number 14, Ian Sanders. That's Gareth McLean with about a 30-yard gain brought down by Ian Sanders, taking over Holland College is about on their 41-yard line. Tran in the backfield, lots of time, gets chased down, running. Oh, he oh. slips. I think he just avoided having his head being taken off, actually. So he looked like he lost about six yards there. So that's going to bring up second and 16 here now with Holland College once again pass going into the wind here. We've got two minutes and 38 seconds left here on the clock. We've got 27 for UNB Fredericton, 22 for your Holland College Hurricanes. Holland College looking to come down the field and make a score here. They are on their own 45-yard line. Holland College going with the two backs in the, in the backfield again. I imagine they'll be going to a Ball is snapped. Tran looking. Long ball. Oh, Dangerous almost picked. territory. Almost picked off by number 56. By number 56. That's Adam Ramey. Intended receiver was number 17, Yurikai Mitchell. Dangerous territory for Tran. Now, Hong College pretty well has no other choice here but to go for it in third and 16 here. With two minutes and 15 seconds left in, in this quarter in the game. Taking time now is Holland. Holland sends three three receivers to the short side of the field. Ball is snapped. Tran is looking. Fires a long one. Looking for Majuri. Majuri trips up and just doesn't get there in time. So UNB is going to have to at least pick up at least one first down here. With two minutes and ten sec two minutes and ten seconds left in the quarter in the game. Don't go anywhere yet, folks. She's still gonna nope. be a barn burner yet. Yep, yep. you're hundred percent right. You never know what's gonna happen. We've seen a couple big plays break in this game out of nothing. Yeah. And once again I imagine Coach Sturgeon will be screaming ball control and ball security here to his players. Rawlings in the backfield, hand off the wall. 
Wah tries to go over the middle, is wrapped up around the ankles. Oh, we got a late flag there. Short run and a penalty. Well, they figure that out. Today is winning 50-50. 9 4 8 4 0 0. That's 9 4 8 I'll have to wait to see what the call is here. Please go up to the concourse if you have the winning ticket. Looks like we got a face mask against Holland College. Face masking against Holland College. This is going to move the ball up 15 yards. Set a new set of downs. That's got to be tough for this team and tough for Coach Lettner to swallow. His team taking some, some mental lapses, some mental breaks, taking some dumb penalties. That's never nice. You know, it's uh, that's a real knife in the heart. Oh, we got another flag. Another flag down again. It looks like Dylan Wall picked up about three or four yards there. I have to see what the, what the call is going to be here. We've also got a man down. Looks like it is for UNB. Actually, I do believe that's we've got one down on each side. Do we, do we? Got a, is that it? That's it. Yeah, you're right. One one player down for UNB. One player down for Holland College. And a flag. And a flag. And a minute 57 left on the clock. That, play, that penalty is actually going against uh, UNB. They're marching the ball back. I didn't catch what the actual call was, but. So that's going to set up first and 20 for UNB here. So that's going to make it a little bit interesting now. See whether or not UNB will need to try to get a first down here to keep the possession of the ball in. Run some more time off the clock. That's number 67 for UNB, Cameron Butler, O lineman going down. And coming up here slowly now. I do believe that's number 27, Mitchell Osmond. Michael and up on our seat. Up walking off on his own power. He's out there with the trainer and his teammates. Each team now getting a little bit of a break with a little bit of time to breathe. Looks like Mitch might have took a helmet to helmet hit there. And, uh, yeah, looks like he may, uh, his head might be bothering him. Now, I tell you what, from experience, I know head injuries, it's, uh, scrambled eggs, that's serious business. And that's uh, something that definitely the trainers are going to look after him, make sure he's all right. Mitch is a second year player from New Brunswick here. I do believe he played his uh, minor football with the Riverview. Oh, picked oh, up. Ball is picked off by Max Mallow. Mallow scoops it up, takes it a couple yards, and we are looking at a brand new ball game. There's the replay. Trying right to set up the screen. Off, trying to set up the middle screen is picked off. Intended receiver was number 21, Dylan Waugh. However, was picked off by number 26, Max Mallow. You gotta wonder why UNB would even bother to put the ball in the air here. I actually agree with you, Leslie. I think that's an overly risky maneuver when you have 
such a running beast like Dylan Waugh. Hand off to Oka. Oka takes it a couple yards. Breaks free, good enough for a first down. So with a minute 47 left here on the clock here, Holland College has got plenty of time to set up their plays here and decide what they want to do with the ball here. Absolutely. There's more than enough time for either side. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Continuing to wind down by points to break. Down. A minute 35 here left in this game. UNB Fredericton is up 27-22 over your Holland College Hurricanes. Holland College just got an interception and a first down. Hand off to Oka. Oka comes through, gain of about three more yards, looking to punch one into the end zone. This is Holland's last chance. So we're looking to hear about second and seven here. Tran getting the play call from the sidelines here, bringing it back to the huddle. The clock is running. Time is in. There is a minute, five seconds left. I'd be looking for a pass here, either Majuri or Kai Mitchell right here if I was Holland College. Quick pass to your Kai Mitchell. Matthew running it up. Oh, he's not going to get enough for the first down there, I don't think, Ryan. No, I think you're right. I think he's off by a couple yards. We have a, we have a player down in the field here, there. Is that Tash? I can't even tell. That could be the quarterback, Tran. Wonder if we can get a replay on that. That is Tayshawn. He is getting up, he is holding his shoulder. We're going to do a measurement here on the uh, on the ball here too as well. No, it looks like you can. I can already tell from here they're off by about a couple inches, maybe a yard. So. With Tayshawn Tran coming out, in comes uh, backup quarterback and former starting quarterback, number three, Michael Petroski. Clock is running here. Bumbled snap after the sneak attempt. Wait to see the spot. We're going to have to see here now where the referees place the ball. Waiting. That was a bad angle from up here. It was hard to tell what exactly went down. I knew the ball was fumbled. However, unaware of who picked it up. They are going to give Holland College a first down here. So 40. 47 and a half seconds left remaining. Holland College will get a fresh set of downs. They are first and 10, and then from there, they're about five yards away from the end zone. So they're looking at about maybe a 15, 17 yard drive into the end zone. They've got 47 seconds to pull it off. Well, Coach Sturgeon coming out here to ask a question to the referee here. Rob St. Pierre going over to talk to Coach Sturgeon. give Holland College time to talk to their quarterback here and decide what they want to do. Absolutely, a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of rest time. 
It also gives uh, UNB defenders a breather here. They've been working hard all game today. Play is whistled in. Time is running off the clock here as Holland College gets lined up. 38 seconds. Ball is snapped. Hand off to Rod. Rod now takes it caught from behind. Is hunted down by Alec Ferris. Is able to rip down Rod. So he's got about two yards there. So that's going to bring up second and eight here. Play is whistled in. Time is in, we've got 28 seconds in counting. <laughs> 20 seconds here. Two back set, Petroski in the backfield. Looking, uh, oh, being yeah, hunted yeah, yeah. down. Comes loose, shakes free, rolling. Trying to get to the end, trying to get to the outside. Trying to get out of bounds to make the clock stop. Scrambling, he looks downfield, but he's eventually pushed out of bounds. Losing a few yards. This is what this may be Holland's last chance. With eight seconds left on the clock. I don't imagine Holland will have enough time to get two plays off here. So it's a. Uh... Third down, folks. So unless we get a flag here, this is going to be a one shot deal here. I imagine Michael will be looking to go to either Kai Mitchell or Tyre Majuri. Mike looking, looking. Picked Ball off. Ball is picked off. Ball is picked off by number nine, Trenton Bannister, and that is going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is heartbreak for Holland College Hurricanes, who are up 22 to 7 going into the halftime and lose here today 27 22. Also losing any hope of any home field advantage during the playoffs. As you can see here, Petroski in the backfield. He takes it, he's looking. Intended receiver is Majuri. There is lots of time and it just happens to be picked off. Yeah. So Holland College will travel to St. John, New, St. John, New Brunswick next week to play the Sea Wolves. I imagine this will be a week of good practices. Coach Steve Lettner will be looking to get a week of good practice in so the boys can refocus. Absolutely. That is a that is a tough loss for your Holland College Hurricanes. However, there is always next week uh, where they will take on the St. John Sea Wolves, 1 p.m. October 12th in St. John. And until then, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Ryan Cabman. To my left is Leslie Fall. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon and have a fantastic day.